Why you guys really quick we're about to react to a new video Tim Scott went on the view and he poked his chest out and he shut the view host down So I need you guys stick along to the back end of the video see what I gotta say about it But right now I need you guys to like comment subscribe if you're new and as always let me know what to react to but to get right to it Yet you say that your life disproves uh, left leftist lies and, and yes. my question to you is I'm the exception right you're the exception. Maybe even Miss Whoopi Goldberg is the exception. Oh, she's but, the but, exception. but we are not the rule. And so when it comes to racial inequality, it persists in, in five core aspects of life in the U.S. Economics, education, health care, criminal justice, and housing. At nearly every turn, these achievements were fought, threatened, and erased, most often by white violence. You have indicated that you don't believe in systemic racism. What is your definition of systemic racism? Let me ask, answer the uh, question that you've answered. Does asked it ex or does it even exist yeah. in your mind? Let me, let me uh, answer the question this way. One of the things that I think about, and one of the reasons why I'm on the show, is because of the comments that were made, frankly, on this show, that the only way for a young African-American kid to be successful in this country is to be the exception and not the rule. That is a dangerous, offensive, disgusting message to send to our young people today, that the only way to succeed is by being the exception. I will tell you that if my life is the exception, uh, I can't imagine. But, but I can't. It imagine, is. But it's not actually. Here's here's. It's been here's 114 years. Yeah. So so the fact of the matter is, we've had an African American president, African American uh, vice president. We've had two African Americans to be secretaries of the state. Uh, in my home city, uh, the police chief is an African American who's now running for mayor. The head of the Highway Patrol for South Carolina is the African American. Still in, 19, in 1975, um, there was about 15 percent employment in the African American community for the first time in the history of the country. It's under five percent. Forty percent homelessness. And fifty percent of African Americans. Fifty percent of the folks get, in our community. Yeah, thirteen percent of the population. You had a chance to ask the question. I know that I've watched you on the show that you like people to be deferential and respectful. So I'm going to do the that same is thing. That's true. So here's what I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest the fact of the matter is that progress in America is palpable. It can be measured in generations. I look back at the fact that my grandfather, born in 1921 in Sally, South Carolina, when he was on a, on a sidewalk, a white person was coming, he had to step off and not make eye contact. That man believed then, with some doubt now, in the goodness of America, because he believed that having faith in God, mm -hmm. faith in himself, and faith in what the future could hold for his kids would unleash opportunities in ways that you you cannot imagine. Every kid today can look, just change the stations and see how much progress has been made in this country. ABC, NBC, CBS, ESPN, CNN, Fox News all have African-American and Hispanic hosts. Wow, you guys, I absolutely feel bad for Sonny Hostin. Her, her mindset is just horrible. She has an extremely, extremely horrible victim mindset. And I can actually agree with Tim Scott. The chief of police here is black. And when I was younger, I went to a program that he actually spoke at and he had some very encouraging words. This actually is the most disgusting show on air and they need to be taken off. They don't even know what they're talking about half the time. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.